Hi, Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. You know, it's clear that 2009 will go down as the year of the SSD, or Solid State Drive. And with good reason. They offer orders of magnitude higher performance than the average spinning hard drive. And, although they are significantly more expensive, because they require no moving parts whatsoever, they make ideal upgrade options for notebooks, where the average spinning hard drive takes a beating with end-user portability requirements. In this Hot Hardware Video Spotlight, we're going to show you how to upgrade your existing spinning hard drive in your notebook to a new fast SSD. Let's take a look. Alrighty then, so let's take a look at the guinea pig that we're going to work with here today, and it's none other than Dell's XPS M1730 Gaming Notebook. This is a big, powerful boat anchor of a desktop replacement machine, actually a very fitting target for an SSD upgrade over a standard hard drive. And, but of course, you can make this upgrade on any standard notebook on the market today that supports a standard two and a half inch SATA hard drive. First, let's take a look at the components that we're gonna to use to upgrade the machine. And let's look at some of the tools that we're going to use to get the data from our existing hard drive to the SSD. First, the SSD that we chose for this upgrade is Intel's X25M solid state disk. It's a 160 gig SSD, actually very fast SSD, capable of about 250 megabytes a second of read performance throughput and about 80 megabytes a second of write throughput, much faster than a standard two and a half inch spinning notebook hard drive. And we're going to use this USB 2.0 to SATA adapter cable. You can see on one end it's a USB 2.0 cable and on the other end we've got this SATA cable that will plug into our hard drive. This is the SATA data cable. And this kit also came with an AC adapter that has a SATA power adapter on one end. And uh, you can find this kit online, just Google USB 2.0 to SATA conversion cable. That'll get the job done. I'm sure you can find a couple of different kits out there. And we just take this SATA data cable, plug it into our data connection on the SSD, and the power connector plugs in here. And then all we have to do is plug this USB 2.0 cable into our notebook, plug in the power, and we've got our SSD now plugged into our notebook and we can still run off the existing hard drive so that we can map the data onto the new SSD. Let's take a look at some software that we're going to use to clone the hard drive over to the SSD next. All right, so we decided to work with a freeware disk cloning utility by the name of Clonezilla. This is an open source Linux-based disk cloning software package that you can find easily on the internet. Uh, and download in an ISO file, which can then be burned to a CD or DVD ROM. And you can boot off of that ROM and work at the partition level to clone your hard drive to that new SSD. Now, there are a number of different utilities available, whether they be open source freeware or uh, perhaps licensed software like Symantec Norton Ghost, for example, that will allow disk to disk cloning. And that's what we've chosen to fire up here with Clonezilla is local disk to local disk cloning. And here you can see we can choose from the hard drives or SSDs that we have currently installed in our system. And we're going to go ahead and choose the 64 gig drive that's in this notebook. And we're going to say that that's going to be our source drive. And we're going to target the new 160 gig Intel drive as the destination. Real simple process. You just select the source and destination disk and press enter and follow the automated prompts and now you're cloning at the partition level to the new SSD. When this process is complete, you can go ahead and move forward to the next step, which would be actually physically replacing the hard drive uh, with the SSD in the notebook and we'll step through that next. So the first thing we need to do is get access to the hard drive area of the notebook. As you can see on the underside of the machine, there are a number of different panels available. Here's the battery uh, compartment panel. Here's the memory panel designated with an M here. And over here are two emblems marking each screw with cylinders for the hard drive area. Each notebook is going to have different emblems and markings indicating what's beneath each of its panels on the underside of the machine. But here's where the hard drive is on this machine. And we pop two screws, very simply, 
to get access to the hard drive cage area of the notebook. And we pop a few more screws to actually free the hard drive cage from the chassis of the machine. Now the hard drive cage is usually an easily removable module. In this case, we just pull this blue tab up and the cage comes free. But we have this ribbon cable that's connecting the hard drive with a SATA data connection as well as power right here. We want to slide that off, pull that connector back, and now the hard drive cage is free. As you can see, the hard drive is fastened in the cage with a couple of screws. And all we do is pull those screws very simply to take the hard drive out of its cage. And once the hard drive is free from the cage, we move to replacing it with our SSD. So, so there's our SSD in the cage, and we just put our screws back in. Very simple. So here we are with our new SSD fastened into the drive cage with those screws, okay, on either side. And we need to reconnect the ribbon cable making sure that we don't pull the cable from the inside connection uh, on the motherboard. Make sure that stays in there. And then we set the drive cage back in its bay and simply screw it back down to the chassis. <clears throat> and reapply the hard drive bay door and fasten it down. A very simple procedure. We've now replaced the standard hard drive in our machine with our new uh, re-imaged SSD with all of our data mirrored over from the hard drive to the new SSD and it's now installed on the machine and ready to boot. Now different types of notebooks are going to have different types of hard drive cages and bays to work with. In this case we're working with an ASUS branded machine and it's got its hard drive indicator marking here on the bottom of the machine and two screws removed right here and here allow us to get access to this little tray that allows the hard drive to slide right out of the machine and the connectors here and here simply mechanically slide in and plug into each other inside the notebook so this is an even easier upgrade path very modular design and again you just remove the screws from the sides of the tray pop a new drive in slide it back into the machine so that's a real simple upgrade right there so there you have it upgrading your notebooks hard drive to a new fast SSD really isn't that complicated However, in the interest of brevity, we've targeted this video as a high-level overview of the process. So be sure to check back at the full review page at hotharbor.com where we've included a bunch of screenshots of the process on the software side and there's additional detail on how to map that data from your old hard drive to the new SSD. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.